Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, this is Chris with Chris Always Got Fitness. Today we're going to go over two exercises that you could be doing in the gym that are counterproductive to your golf swing. And then I'm going to give you a little tweak on each one to make it more golf specific. Hey, this is Chris with Chris Always Got Fitness. Today we're going to go over two exercises that you could be doing in the gym right now that are counterproductive to the golf swing. And I'm going to show you two tweaks to make it more golf specific. And basically, it's a squat and the downswing. So I'm going to show you how to squat first. So a lot of times when we go to the gym and we squat, our knees actually go forward. Well, in a squat, the knees and the hips actually should go back. So when the knees go forward, that's too much emphasis on the quad and patella, and you're supported by your back. When your hips go back, that's actually loading the glute and the ham. So I need you to squat back versus forward. Now how does that transfer into the golf swing? When I see guys squat forward, I usually see their address posture with more knee joints. As you know in other videos, we talk about posture. There's two types of posture. One is hip joints, which is loaded to explode. One is knee joints, United States hip joints. So keep your hips back versus forward. The next exercise we see a lot in the gym is something called over the top. So usually they'll do an exercise that does this. And hey, that's great for the vanity world, but no bueno for the golf world. So I'm going to show you a little tweak that you can do to make it more golf specific. So instead of coming over, I like to set up in your golf position and I actually want you to come under. So again, instead of coming over, let's go under, let's do that for a more consistent gospel. 